What's up everybody, Drake Dragsaw here. My teacher wanted me to do a film review of this movie, so I'm doing a film review of this movie. It starts out with a grammatical error. The comma's in the wrong place. What are you doing? When this started up, I was very confused. The scene here that we're being shown at the beginning of the movie doesn't happen until about halfway through the book. It's very confusing and a weird way to start off. On the plus side though, you can tell that the actors are clearly trying their very best with this one. None of them are half-assing and not trying. You can tell everyone involved is bringing their A-game. There's some random scenes in this one that I don't remember actually happening. Like, I don't remember this naked pool party here. What? Why is it? Why? What? After an epic title sequence, a bunch of shit happens. It's actually pretty one-to-one -to, -one to the original book, but the problem with that is that it expects you to know the context of the real book itself. So, people who haven't seen the original book and just wanted to see this movie would probably be lost. The cinematography is alright, although sometimes it looks kind of like a television show, but it definitely suffices for the movie. There were a few anachronisms that I noticed, like how the deck chair was first patented in the late 19th century, and thus would not have been available at the time of this film's setting. It also had a few continuity errors. Here's Benedict hiding behind the hedge, but when the camera shot changes, he is by the fountain, in clear view of Signor Leonardo, Claudio, and Don Pedro. Even though I've been rattling off a lot of negative things about this movie, I do think it's still a good movie. It did translate the book to the screen pretty efficiently. The actors all did very good and delivered their dialogue in a realistic way. The costumes and set design was superb. However, I don't think the film introduces the characters well enough to new viewers who haven't read the original book, so they'll likely be left in the dark about what the hell is even meant to be happening. But, if you've actually read the original book Much Ado About Nothing, then this movie might be a good yang to that yin. I'd give this movie a 6 out of 10.